Okay, welcome to the SoftSuzy download and install and use tutorial. The first thing you need to do in order to use SoftSuzy is you Google SoftSuzy. And then you go to the top link, which is the SoftSuzy homepage. And then if you uh, click on download or indeed scroll down a bit you'll see the latest releases and you want to click on one of the source links um, which is shown in red here and obviously we want to go to the latest one probably so um, we click on source 3.2.3 which is the latest soft CZ download so we saved that file okay so if now I go to my downloads directory I can see the soft Susie file um, it's uh, gzipped and it's tarred so you've got to unpack it so you type tar minus xvzf soft Susie minus 3.2.3.tar.gz and that makes a directory called soft Susie minus 3.2.3 so we change directory into that and uh, now we uh, configure the compilation so um, our Fortran compiler in Ubuntu has to be G Fortran um, and it may well be that on your system you also have to type this option so um, that's what I'm just telling it here so it goes through and uh, configures all of the make files and the different options automatically finding on your system what compilers and so on you have. So now um, you type make and uh, it will go through and uh, compile the program. So um, actually you can uh, type make space minus J and then followed by a sing usually a single digit number um, where that number is the number of processors that you have and that will actually um, do the compilation much quicker because it will um, run several compilation processes in parallel one on each uh, core that you've got in your machine uh, and so you can end up with your soft Susie program all compiled much quicker than you uh, would do otherwise. I've actually got two cores on this machine um, but uh, for generality I, I've only compiled it on one um, just to show you a sort of foolproof me method. So it's now compiled all the uh, different programs and it's run some test programs now. So if we have a look and see with quite a lot of files in this directory um, but the first check you want to do is to try and run uh, the soft point dot x executable so if you just type in dot slash which means run soft point dot x then you should get this um, error message printed out so soft Susie was expecting some inputs um, and uh, the different kinds of inputs it can take um, are written here so for instance uh, if we want to do a sort of uh, anomaly mediated SUSE breaking type computation we can go to see this line and it tells us what numbers we should point in we should put in so we type the executable name tell it it's anomaly mediated I'm going to pick M0 is 130 GV M3 halves is um, 20,000 GV for instance Time beta is 10. So for MGUT, you can either enter a scale or just tell it to do it wherever the gauge couplings are unified. And for that, I type in unified. And for the sign of the mu parameter in the Higgs potential, I'm going to put minus 1. Um, and I'm going to type the output through more um, so that we can scroll through it. So if I do that, it gives us output in the SUSE Lazusha code format and uh, first of all we see our input parameters it tells you what standard model inputs you've used then um, the different AMSB parameters here 
or if we scroll down, then it starts to tell us the masses of the superparticles that we have. So, for instance, the Gluino comes out to be minus 475 um, GV, and of course that minus sign is um, is a convention. Uh, these are Majorana fermions, so it's just uh, it doesn't mean that uh, it's some weird tachyon. It just means um, the conventions on the fermions have been taken to have a minus sign. So if we scroll down, we can get more information about neutralino mixing um, and so on. So that's the uh, the way to run soft SUSE for one point. Um, you can run it on your own SUSE Lazusha chord file. So if I look at this file, um, Lazush input, I'll show you it here. Okay, so here we have um, an example input file. So this one is a sort of CMSSM or MSUGRA type model with these standard model inputs and uh, these values of scalar and gay genome mass and so on. And I can run this point, which is stored in um, a file called Lays Ush Input, uh, like this. So you can tell it tells SoftSuzy that you're to expect through standard input um, uh, in something in the Suzy Lays Ush Chord format. If you put the, if you use this Lays Ush option here. So we can see that, again, we get the Lazouche output type format, and we've got the masses of all the superparticles and so on. Um, so that's it. I hope um, you found this tutorial useful. Thanks.